how come did number 11 Penn State volleyball lose to unranked Illinois who was 9 and 11 at the time how come I'm going to go dive into it Penn State had 52 kills and 25 error attacking errors on 123 attempts 49 assists in the match Two service aces, 11 service errors. That's a bunch of errors right there. And receiving errors only have five. Diggs, 43. Team blocks is 10. 12 assisted blocks for solo. So, But four block ball handling errors in the match, which does not help your cause to win. Illinois had 53 kills on 120 attempts with 17 errors. 50 assists in the match, 5 service aces, 16 service errors, uh, and 39 digs, so, and 15 blocks by Illinois, team blocks, 26 solo, 2, I mean, 26 assisted, 2 solo, and 4 blocking errors, so, some of the numbers overall in the match make sense on why did Penn State lose it does but I'm gonna go even more of in de depth about the stats per set on the attacks Illinois had 13 kills on on 31 attempts with three errors and a side out was like 13 for 20 for the match while Penn State had 12 kills on 33 attempts with seven kills so yeah you could tell the hit the percentage in both that's the difference I mean and I really should go over the scores after I go over this and aside I was 12 12 for 24 the first set went to Illinois 25 19 second set it went in favor of Illinois 25 20 Penn State took the third set 25 23 but Illinois took the Fourth set 25 23. So, second set, Penn State had 11 kills on eight errors on 31 attempts. Side out was 13 for 25. While Illinois had 12 kills on four errors and 20 on 28 attempts, 13 for 20 on side out. So, that makes sense on why did Penn State lose that one. And by far the, the van, clear advantage in terms of attacks and side out were in favor of Penn State in that third set. I mean, 14 kills on and five errors on 29 attempts, 13 for 23 on side outs. Now Illinois what had 14 kills on six with six errors on 30 attempts. Side out was 13 for 25. So that makes a lot of sense in that instance. But the fourth set didn't make sense I mean the kill percentage I mean the hitting percentage for Penn State 15 kills five errors on 30 attempts that that's step and 16 for 25 on side out but Illinois had 14 kills on 31 attempts with four errors 16 for 23 on side out the side out must be the difference in this the percentage is different I mean they have to be the difference Granted, I know Penn State did more on side out on that one, but the percentage wasn't high enough. That's simple, and the defense just didn't, didn't get enough digs in the mat in those particular times either. I mean, so that's breaking it down on why. So, Illinois has Rutgers next. I don't know if they're going to win on it. They won last time. That was on the road. Then they host Wisconsin and Minnesota. That's two tough matches on home. Michigan State receiving votes. Michigan the Michigan State at, again. But the first Michigan State match, by the way, is at Michigan State. Then they got Iowa at home. Then they got Indiana at Indiana at Northwestern. That's, that's it. On that. So... In terms of Penn State in this, 
I'm going to check on there. schedule here just to go over a little bit. Next match is at Ohio State. That's tough. I mean, at home versus Ohio State. Then they got Maryland at home. At Rutgers. At Indiana. But at Purdue is tough. At home against Minnesota is going to be tough. At home against Wisconsin is going to be tough. Then Northwestern on the road and then at home against Purdue so as you could tell there is some tough matches left for them for both teams here so I just want to go over their schedules respectively for the rest of the way in terms of how come did Illinois beat them now can Illinois make the NCAA tournament to be determined they have to win all the games they can especially against those quality opponents like a Penn State here and we see in both Michigan and don't have any more losses that's the only or as minimum losses as possible that's the only way they're going to get in at this point anyways if you like this content hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later let's get to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year